let's have a discussion on Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. This is most important and basic law of electrical technology. We can say electrical technology is mainly based on this law. Operation of most basic components of electrical system like electrical motors, generators, electrical transformers and inductors etc. are based on Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. This law shows the relationship between electric circuit and magnetic field. He found that when an electrical conductor is brought under the influence of a magnetic field and if the flux linked with the conductor due to this magnetic field is changed, an EMF is induced in the conductor. In this experiment, Faraday takes a magnet and a coil and connects a galvanometer across the coil. At starting, the magnet is at rest, so there is no deflection in the galvanometer. That is, needle of galvanometer is at center or zero position. When the magnet is moved towards the coil, the needle of galvanometer deflects in one direction. When the magnet is held stationary at that position, the needle of galvanometer returns back to zero position. Now, when the magnet is moved away from the coil, there is some deflection in the needle but in opposite direction. Again, when the magnet becomes stationary at that point with respect to the coil, the needle of galvanometer returns back to zero position. Similarly, if the magnet is held stationary and the coil is moved away and towards the magnet, the galvanometer shows deflection in similar manner. He also found that if these movements are made faster, the deflection of needle of the galvanometer is also more. That indicates faster the change in the magnetic field, the greater will be the induced EMF or voltage in the coil. From this experiment, Faraday concluded that whenever there is relative motion between conductor and a magnetic field, the flux linkage with a coil changes and this change in flux induces a voltage across a coil. Michael Faraday formulated two laws on the basis of above experiments. These laws are called Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. Any change in the magnetic field of a coil of wire will cause an EMF to be induced in the coil. This is known as Faraday's first law of electromagnetic induction. And second law states that the magnitude of EMF induced in the coil is equal to the rate of change of flux linkages with the coil. Now let's establish an equation for Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. Consider a magnet approaching towards a coil. Here we consider two instants at time T1 and time T2. Flux linkage with the coil at time T1 is n into phi 1 Weber and flux linkage with the coil at time T2 is n into phi 2 Weber. Hence change in flux linkage is given by n into phi 2 minus phi 1. Let this change in flux linkage be phi equals phi 2 minus phi 1. So, the change in flux linkage would be n into phi. Now the rate of change of flux linkage would be n into phi divided by time t. Taking derivative, we will get the rate of change of flux linkage 
and d phi dt. But according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, the rate of change of flux linkage is equal to induced EMF. So it can be written as E equals minus N d phi dt. The significance of this minus sign is due to Lenz's law. Since the induced EMF opposes the very cause of it, that is rate of change of flux with respect to time. It means change of flux with respect to time induces EMF in the coil. So induced EMF will oppose change of flux with respect to time. Hope you understand. Thank you.